David Copperfield called recently and asked, Mr. Tasteful, how do I levitate a card? Well, here we are today, taking our 14 subscribers along for the journey. It's the floating playing card trick. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Let's open it up and then we'll give it a Mr. Tasteful score. Here we have yet another Wish.com product, which was purchased all of six months ago, but it's just arrived. I had to look at my order history just to remind myself of what I had purchased. And now with our inspection gloves on, it feels like a case of deja vu. It was only about a dozen episodes ago that we took a look at the Tarantula Invisible Thread. At the time of purchase, I had no idea that this is basically the same trick. In the package, we have the Four of Diamonds playing card, the JDL Royal 8808, right, Ace of Spades, a Ziploc bag, contained within is the invisible string, very hard to pick up on the camera. This looks like a double-sided tape and a piece of paper in Chinese. Inspection gloves are off again. This is too hard to handle with gloves on. We'll open up the invisible string firstly. Likely you won't see this on camera. But there is very fine thread wrapped around this spool. As an example, we have a length of the invisible thread that I've cut off. We'll now take some of our tape. We're going to tape that thread onto the card. As an example, you can see it's now attached. It is a translucent tape, so we'll take off the backing. And now by pulling on the string, the card raises into the air like magic. To perform the trick, let's just imagine this is my neck. The string is wrapped around the back of the neck and taped onto your shirt. Then when you stand up, the card will be floating in the air. You can then use your hands in mysterious ways to pretend as though the magic is happening. Ooh, spooky. Look, Jimmy, it's magic. What do you mean you've seen this trick before? No, Jimmy. This time it's different. This is real magic. No, Jimmy, I'm not a cheap hack. Well, I've lost all respect for you too, Jimmy. Let's give the truly amazing floating playing card a Mr. Tasteful score. We're scoring the floating playing card trick based on the factors of weird, tacky and functional. Starting off with weird, make card hover in air with string. Okay, 2 out of 10. Next we look at tacky. And I could imagine Gob in the show Arrested Development using these. And we know what sort of magician he was. 6 out of 10. Finally, functionality. You may fool children, you may fool some slow adults too. 6 out of 10. A piece of string magic trick is worth 14 Mr. Tasteful points out of 30. Having a look over at the Mr. Tasteful leaderboard, the floating playing card trick on 14 points goes into position number 31. Just above we have the steel throwing card and the magic light up thumbs, and just below the silk through the phone trick and the permanent match survival tool. And up the top of the leaderboard in the realm of greatness where only the gods can walk, we have the pea funnel, fake camel toe, and blue plastic ear covers. Piece of string with card attached. It doesn't really have the same ring to it. Maybe that's why I don't work in marketing. And now that I've ruined magic for millions, subscribe to Mr. Tasteful and tell me in the comments how sad you are. Do you believe in magic now, Jimmy?